What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide and unhide things with buttons for PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide and unhide things for PyQt5. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books. One time fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. And I know I said I was getting rid of those coupon codes in the new year, but I still haven't got to it. I'll probably get to it this weekend. Like I said, I just got overwhelmed with end of the year stuff and haven't been able to change the price of Code of Me membership up to $300. So that coupon code still works. So take advantage of that $49 price while you still can. Like I said, probably going to be around the weekend when I get to change that. And then the price will go up to 300 bucks and then that's all there is to it. So take advantage of that now, definitely if you're interested. And that's all I'll say about that. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide and unhide things with a button. So we've got, you know, we could type some stuff in here. We wanna hide this, unhide it. I'm clicking the button, boom, it's hidden. I click it again, boom, it comes back. So I got a couple of questions about this last week. So I thought, hey, we'll knock out a quick video about this. Should be super easy. So head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic PyQt5 starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it hide.py. And first thing we want to do is open the designer so we can build out our quick little GUI. So let's head back over to our terminal. I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on. And let's just run the designer. And when we do this pops up, we want to create a new main window. And let's just kind of resize this real quick. We don't need much anything for this, just a couple of things. So let's come over here and grab a push button. So I'm just going to kind of knock this in right here. And let's say hide slash unhide for this. And I'm going to come over here and change the font to this to make it a little bigger just for fun. So that's easier to read. Oh man, I misspelled. Oh, we don't want a capital I there. All right, so hide and hide. And we also want what? Probably like a line edit box or really anything at all. We can use a label. We could use, you know, a line edit. Whatever you're interested in showing, hiding and unhiding, you could put in here. And let's kind of move this up here. It looks good. Oh man, that is a nice looking app, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Okay, so not much to this app but uh, we don't really need much. So let's come up here and file save as, and I wanna be in my PyQt5 directory, and I'm just gonna call this hide.ui. Okay, so let's head back over to our code, and let's open that hide.ui file, because we need to import some stuff. So there it is, hide.ui. And then, as always, we wanna import the things that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna be using a Q push button, so let's import that, bring that to the top here, and paste that in. And we also have a line edit, there it is. So let's import that as well. Okay, so now let's come down here and as we always do, let's define our widgets. You notice I'm referencing hide.ui right there. And to define these things, we just wanna name them. So I'm gonna call the first one edit, or like the line edit. And that's gonna be self.findchild. And then it's a line edit, so we can copy this. And the name of it is, let's come back over here and find it, just line edit. So we can copy this, put that there. Okay, so that looks good. Let me copy this. And let's create another one called button. And this is gonna be a Q push button. So let's grab that, bring that over here. And the name of this guy is just push button. So we can copy that and paste that right there. Okay, so that looks good. So now, we want to do something when we click the button. So let's go self.button.clicked.connect. And then we want to call self. What function do we want to call? Well, let's call a function called hide slash unhide. And we don't have that yet. So let's go ahead and create that real quick. And so we can just come down here and define this guy. We want to pass in self as we always do. So now, we need to determine whether the thing has been hidden or not already. So let's create a little variable up here. And let's say, uh, keep track of hidden or not. And I'm just going to call this self dot hidden. And we're going to start out setting it to false. Why false? Well, because when the app first runs, it's not hidden. So it is false that it is hidden, right? So that's sort of my logic there. And now we could just run a quick if statement. So let's go if self dot hidden. 
if it's true, we could just call it if self dot hidden, then we want to show the thing. So how do we show a thing? Well, we just call the thing the name of the thing self dot edit, so we can go self dot edit dot show. Right. And then we want to change our little counter our little hidden counter to false, right? If it's already true, we want to change it to false because we just showed it, right? So we just call self dot hidden and set that equal to false. Else, if it's not hidden, that means it's you can see it. So then we go self dot edit dot hide, right? So if it is hidden, this is true. And if it's hidden, we want to show it. If it's not hidden, it's being showed. And then if we click the button, that means we want to hide it, right? So again, same thing, we got to change our little counter self dot hidden and set that equal to true. Okay, so that should do the trick. So this is all you have to do edit dot show and edit dot hide. If you were to use a label, and it was called label and you wanted to show or hide the label, it would be self dot whatever the label name is self dot label dot show self dot label dot hide, whatever the thing is you want to show or hide, you just call this dot show or dot hide function super easy. So let's go ahead and save this and run it see if that worked. And let's go Python hide dot pi. And when we do we get this thing, there's stuff here, we want to click here, it's shown. So if we click this button, it's going to hide it, right? Boom. If we click it again, it's hidden. Now it wants to show boom, there we go. Well, we can just keep on clicking. <laughs> it's good stuff. And that's all there is to it. So a super easy way to hide or show different widgets in your app. All it takes is the dot show or the dot hide thing. We spruced it up a little bit with that logic with the true false stuff, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. If you just wanted a button to just hide a thing, or a button to just show a thing, you wouldn't need that logic. But since we do in this case only have one button, we had to use the logic to hide and unhide the thing. And pretty simple. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership for a couple more days. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.